Hello. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a purchase order where the vendor is unknown. So let's get started and go to first logistics, then go to materials management, click on purchasing, then click on purchase order, and then go and click on create. Transaction ME25, vendor unknown. Let's go ahead and double click on this transaction. The create purchase order initial screen is displayed. The first thing we have to do is select the order type. So let's go ahead and click on the search icon to browse through the order types. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And then select the standard PO type NB, which is this one right here. Click on it and confirm or just go ahead and double click on it. Source determination, sorry, source determination. The source determination allows the purchaser to find the best source of supply. So from the source list or the bidder's list, which usually consists of a list of vendors for uh, a specific or specified material. So source determination uh, includes the list of vendors for a defined type of material. So let's go ahead and select the indicator to allow SAP select the best source for you. To recap again, the order type, the purchase order date, purchasing group, you have to select the purchasing group, and the source determination are all need to be populated in order for you to trigger this transaction so let's go ahead and press the enter key to continue first of all we have to go and click on the material field and enter the material in each line item for the material you are going to purchase so for this one we are going to click on the search icon to select the right material from the list and I'm going to enter star for this lesson I'm gonna enter bear for bearing and just close with the star again and press the enter key I'm gonna select this guy right here material 100-510 and double click on it for the quantity I'm gonna enter 2 and for the plant I'm going to enter 3000 and then I'm gonna go and press the enter key if you notice SAP will actually populate some of the fields automatically like the description the material group delivery date etc and that's is based on what you have entered in the material master record and the info record for the vendor or the material let's click on the assigned source of supply to find the vendors list who will supply the bearings but before that we could click on this icon here which is item details just to see the item details for this item we have selected go and click on the back icon again now let's go ahead and click on the sign source supply to find the vendors list the vendor price is very important but there are other factors we should take into consideration when selecting the vendor such as delivery compliance uh, quality of good and customer service and warranty as well so let's go ahead and press on the vendor evaluation to view the ranking of the list vendors SAP will rank the vendor based on the criteria just mentioned let's go back and click on the back icon I'm going to select for this vendor the last vendor here number 100639 
I'm going to confirm with the check mark here. After selecting the vendor, I'm going to go and click on the line item number 10 and click on the item details to display the line item information. Make sure the vendor you have selected is shown on line item detail screen. Notice the fixed vendor showing the vendor you have selected for this PO is vendor 100639 Iramco group. Go ahead and click on the next icon to go back to the initial screen. Now go ahead and create or generate the purchase order by clicking on the red and white circle icon. Make sure to select the line item first and then go and click on the red and white icon. Purchase order created. The document overview on the left side is displayed. Let's select the intern from the open requisition and then go ahead and click on the adopt icon to copy the data from the purchase requisition to the purchase order. Let's go ahead first and close the document overview by clicking on it. As shown, you notice the line section and the item details section shown here. Before saving and creating a purchase order, let's go ahead and check for any errors by clicking on the check icon. Notice the message at the bottom of the screen indicating there was no errors on the screen. From also this area or this screen you can also add some terms and conditions to your purchase order. So let's go ahead and click on this header to expand. And if you want to add to your purchase order some terms and conditions, you could do it also from here. So for example, if you want to add something to the header, say that these items are required urgently. You could also create a header note, pricing types, uh, deadlines, you could say create terms of delivery, uh, I put three weeks, uh, I could also have shipping instructions, uh, this shipment should be properly Packed. Uh, you could also add terms of payment, 30 days net, for example, 30 days net. So it all depends what information you want to add the last minute on your purchase order. You could add also warranty, let's say one year warranty. Let's close this header area. Let me go here and click on text. And I have here delivery is free on board vendor facility. You could change this to. Please keep in mind that anything you have added in the header here, it will actually be shown uh, below the list of items let's say you have more than one item so anything you have added as terms and conditions will be added after the list of the items and the total on the purchase order keep in mind that uh, the purchase order could be also issued to more than one vendor so it all depends on the pricing you could have five items issued to one vendor and another five or ten items issued to another vendor so you could do that as well as well by selecting the vendors from the list. Uh, the other thing I would like to 
mention here is if you click on the text tab here you could also add uh, that delivery it should be delivery uh, should be FOB bender let's sell it there is schedule again let's go ahead now and click on the print preview to review the purchase order before printing or sending or forwarding this PO to a vendor by either email or by fax whatever your options are so let's go ahead and select for on the print review icon the purchase order now is displayed in the print review print review mode you could go ahead and browse through it purchase order number the vendor uh, the vendor number delivery address terms and conditions I have added the items are required urgently the quantity description price total also the additional terms and conditions let's go ahead now and click on the back icon let's go and click on the save to save the PO the standard PO number has been created by SAP as shown at the bottom of the screen you have just learned how to create a purchase order with uh, an unknown vendor let's go ahead and click on the back icon to leave the purchase order initial screen let's go ahead now and review the quiz question that comes with this lesson and if you have any problem or you get stuck somewhere you could go back and review the material one more time